be but a ding. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here in the Freedom Office, and today is a huge day to celebrate. I know that uh, yesterday uh, the Senate is moving ahead with the, uh, what do you call it, the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act of 2022, and that was a heartfelt uh, thing where they are going to basically make it a crime to, you know, do anything and everything with a firearm. But today was a huge uh, development with the Supreme Court, and the nice thing is is that we do have a Supreme Court that, uh, for the most part, is a conservative Supreme Court, which scares the shit out of the liberals in this world. As a matter of fact, those individuals who voted no against this whole thing, you can tell, are two of the ladies appointed by none other than Barack Obama. And uh, they don't care about the law or the interpretation of the law as it states, but what they care about is their opinion. So they're opinionated Supreme Courts, uh, uh, justices, uh, what do you call this, uh, these uh, people? All right, so uh, basically the Supreme Court of the United States, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association, Inc. versus Bruin, Superintendent of New York State Police, and it was a suit brought back in October 2021. So the Supreme Court went ahead and uh, they ruled on this thing. And I want to just uh, read a few things that, uh, and this is CNBC. This is a, what, what do you know about the major? All right, here we go. CNBC, CNBC.com. Uh, the Supreme Court strikes down New York gun law restricting concealed carry in major Second Amendment case. Absolutely. This is huge. Um, so anyway, the key points on this is the Supreme Court struck down a New York state law requiring applicants for a license to carry a gun outside the homes to have proper calls. In other words, you have to show that you have a need for it. The, the last time I heard the, 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 <laughs> the requirement or the need to uh, fulfill the Second Amendment or to, uh, to uh, what do you, oh, what, what the hell am I listening listen to? All right, so I'm going to carry a gun. And I don't need to show anybody a need to carry said firearm. Uh, but in New York, the uppity little leftists up there have decided that you cannot exercise exercise your Second Amendment rights without showing a cause. You have to have a threat. And then they're going to sit around like the lady in, in New Jersey who said she had a cause. And then all of a sudden, uh, her boyfriend went and killed her. <laughs> Which is kind of like that red flag thing, man. They're all about preventing people with firearms. But they won't let somebody who has cause. And they're going to take forever to defend themselves in the end results uh, they're going to get killed. All right, so the court said the law violated the Second Amendment. Huh. Uh, Johnny B. wearing your shirt today. The ruling is a major victory for gun rights advocates who had challenged New York's restrictive law, which makes it a crime to carry a concealed firearm without a license. Uh, man, isn't it cool about uh, a lot of the states out there who have constitutional carry? Uh, North Carolina, I know we have, oh, you can open carry as long as you can own a firearm, you can open carry the damn thing anywhere. Don't advise it because I just think that opens yourself up to a lot of ill will from certain folks. But you can. It is your right to defend yourself. It's your God-given right. Top Democrats in New York condemned the decision and warned it will only imperil public safety. And we're going to do a video about that in a, in a near future because uh, everytown.org has this whole thing talking about people with stand your ground laws is a danger to us all. Let's see uh, what else do we have here. Okay, so the Supreme Court on Thursday struck down a New York state law requiring applicants to for a license to carry a gun outside of their homes to have a proper cause to do so, saying it violated the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution. Let me point this out, okay? So this is the stuff that fires me up. You've got all these people who are sitting up there at Kavanaugh's house, uh, Judge Leto's house, and they're demonstrating in front of their homes because they are uh, in favor of the Roe versus Wade overturn. Okay, so could you imagine if a bunch of Second Amendment uh, activists, such as you and such as me, went to, oh, I don't know, uh, the, the, the Supreme Court Justice's house who voted against this thing, and we demonstrated. Do you think that we would receive the same amount of respect from the left-leaning, uh, what do you call those people, the mainstream media? Oh, it's okay. Do you think the president would be like, oh, no, it's it's their right. They can do it. They can do whatever they want. Ah, because my, whatever. Okay, so the 6-3 ruling in the case of the major victory for gun rights advocates who had challenged the New York's restrictive law, which makes it a crime to carry a concealed firearm without a license. 
It also represents the Supreme Court's biggest expansion of gun rights in more than a decade. <laughs> and cast doubt on laws in eight other states. Damn right. You're damn right. We're coming for you. And this is a huge victory, guys. D.C., Maryland, uh, who else? District of Columbia, that restricted carry permits a similar way. The Supreme Court six conservative justice voted to invalidate the law, which has been in existence <laughs> since 1911. Clarence Thomas wrote the majority of opinion in the case. I am so ecstatic. The court's three liberals voted to uphold the law, just as Stephen Breyer wrote in a dissent to the ruling. Oh, this is huge, and I'm very excited about it. But again, I mean, could you imagine if, you know, the gun rights people, we, we decided to go ahead and actively uh, protest in front of somebody else's house, uh, Sotomayor's house, just for example. So we showed up and did that. Do you think the president or the, uh, the, uh, uh, the press secretary would be sitting there and go, well, you know, it's their right, they can do it, you know, yada, yada, yada. Hell no. They send the alphabet boys over there to run us off as fast as they could. What we have now is a, it'll, it'll, <laughs> never mind, I don't even want to go there. But I thought this is great. This is huge for the individuals who live in the states where you're being suppressed uh, and your Second Amendment rights are just trashed. So with that being said, guys, congratulations, New York and the other states. This is huge, and it's a wonderful thing that by virtue that the last president, number 45, Donald Trump, was able to appoint these justices, and by his right, they are able to uh, put forth his will. Yeah, that's how it happens. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Yeah. I got about three tabletops I got to do real quick. Other than that, uh, I was on the phone with Dimitri for half the morning because we were talking about, you know, shooting and this thing right here, which is by far the best piece of glass that I've ever seen. KB32, I'm out. Boom.